Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Mandy here, I am a mom to a one and a half year old little boy and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how I've really maximized his room to obviously house his sleeping equipment and to be a bedroom but also to be his playroom. <laughs> If you are new here, just a little bit of a background. So I only have one little boy who is one and a half now and I do try to follow Montessori inspired education and parenting as far as how I've set up my home and how I interact with him every day. And so our current condo is not big enough to have a complete separate playroom. This is a two bedroom. So I had to make the most out of this space. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you every detail of his room, how I organize his toys, how I've effectively kind of married the playroom and the bedroom together. Uh, we don't have any issues with it. He knows when it's playtime, it's playtime, and it, when it's sleep time, it's sleep time. And um, it's not really a cluttered space, and I it took me a while to get here, but I'm really happy with where we're at right now. I'm sure I'll change other things, but if I happen to skip over something or I don't mention where I got something or whatever and you have any questions leave them down below and I will try my best to get back to you uh, mostly everything I'm going to try and also have linked for you just to make it easy uh, if you are trying to transition into Montessori yourself my dog just crashed in all right that's enough blabbing let's just get into the room tour this is what you see when you walk in I'm going to close the door behind me and I think I'm going to start with the sleep portion because, honestly, it's the easiest part. It's really simple. So right here at the front of the room, as soon as you turn around, this is his little, like, self-care station. Hello. This little mirror is from Walmart. Super affordable. And then the clear shelf underneath it is from Five Below. Then I just have a Dollar Tree little command hook with his towel and his slippers and he has a little hairbrush here and he really loves practical life things he likes to feel like he's doing what we're doing so that is that moving forward from that right next to it is his crib i do plan on transitioning him into a toddler bed as he gets closer to two we do have a few months um, the only issue that we have is that he's starting to outgrow this one but he doesn't try and climb out he's a pretty chill dude he'll just lay in there until we go get him and so we just have some blankets. Those are two stuffed animals that he sleeps with. That one's Archibald and that one's Gordon. This crib is from Ikea. It was actually a hand-me-down from my sister-in-law. And then this right here above his crib. If you've seen his first birthday, like me setting up his party, I got this for his birthday as like the backdrop centerpiece. But I also got it because I wanted to use it in his room. And that is from a shop on Etsy called Crazy Cutouts. I will have them linked down below for you guys. It came really fast. Super beautiful. Um, I'll also have the fonts and the sizes that I got because that was a really common question in my birthday video. And I'll also leave that video linked if you have your child's birthday coming up. It's really helpful. Next to his bed on the floor, I keep his sound machine and his monitor. He really doesn't touch these and this outlet is actually connected to that um, light switch so when he's up I just turn it off so he can't even like use or press these buttons. We have a lamp post and then we have a rocking chair slash recliner. Um, this was also a hand-me-down and it goes along with our couches downstairs but this was just the perfect addition to his room. And then we have a blankie just for decoration. Right next to the rocking chair, I keep this little um, foam cube out because he's able to kind of move it in front of the chair and climb on the chair when he wants. And then that little dragon is from Walmart. It was like $4 from Melissa and Doug over the holidays. And it's kind of like, almost like a pillow pet. So it has like a flat belly. He doesn't really use it much. It's just kind of here as decor and cause it matches the foam cube. And then um, I always keep this little I don't even know. It's like an activity cube out. My best friend's mom got it at the thrift store. Um, these can get really pricey, so I would definitely recommend checking out your local thrift store because apparently these are pretty common there. And tucked in this corner, I have the rest of his foam blocks. I typically leave them tucked in his closet, like 
next to the dresser in that corner but he's been using them and enjoying them a lot more lately so i just have them hidden behind his teepee for easy like pulling out access and that leads us to his teepee we got this teepee also for his birthday as like the gift tent and for decoration but i knew i was gonna also use it in his room so in that video i mentioned that i wanted to have a lot of multi-purpose stuff and that's exactly what i have here so he loves this tp he'll go in there and you know bring his cars and his books he loves a little window on the side here and we'll play like peekaboo with it and his best friend really likes it too and they kind of just go in there and hang out and i'm sure as he gets older this will be like his safe space inside of the tp is this is actually a dog bed from ikea but it looks like a little montessori couch so it kind of comes out like that he sits on it like a couch, he only really leaves it like that, and it's a little sitting area for him. I also want to mention that this TP was one of the most affordable ones that I can find on Amazon, so if you're in the market for a good TP, this one has been great for us, and it was super affordable. I'll have it linked down below for you. Directly next to his TP, I have this little block. It's actually a little storage container, and it was in the craft section, like where you can get the wooden stuff that you would paint yourself from Hobby Lobby. Super affordable. And I keep his blocks in here. And I will alternate between like mega blocks, but also like the Melissa and Doug classic wooden building blocks. So I'll swap these out once he gets a little bored with them. But I always keep blocks in here now. I also didn't really mention it, but from like that point on is all play area um, up into this table. And then from the dresser around this way is like the living practical life sleep area. Coming back over here next to the TP under this window are his books. I do cycle out his books so I only keep a few on hand and I'll switch them out about every week or so. He loves when we switch out the books and he'll bring every single one to me one by one for me to read when they're new. And then he'll little by little start losing interest with them but... These two shelves are actually picture ledges from Ikea. They were really affordable. And then I made this little sign for him with sticker paper and my printer. And this um, wooden plaque was actually the top of a mini table from Five Below, but he broke it. And so I figured I might as well use it for something. And then we have a blue because he does love Blue's Clues which is sweet because I grew up loving Blue's Clues too. So now my son gets to watch it. This is his open shelving system. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with Montessori, pretty much everything Montessori is child-led, child-level, where he can see everything, choose what he wants to do, and I basically follow his lead. So every week or so, I will go and rotate out these toys Today's actually a toy rotation day, so this stuff he's already super bored with. But we'll start on top. So I got these three frames from the Dollar Tree, and then I just printed out some photos of his favorite things. As far as this week's toy rotation goes, I'm not going to get super involved in like every single toy that I have out for him because I have a whole other video about toys for him, and I will leave that one also linked up above so you can watch it if you're interested. I show you exactly how I've organized his toys, why I rotate them, all that good stuff. And then we have my dog sleeping on this mat. This mat was also a hand-me-down. It's one of those just like gym foam mats. And the last thing on his play side is his little table. This table is from Ikea. Um, I feel like most parents to toddlers have this table. It is literally, I believe it's $30 or under for the table and the chairs. So we do a lot of crafting here. We play with our play-doh We paint we do all of that good stuff on this table He loves to sit down on his chairs and then just like I made his little plaque I also printed out this play sticker. It's almost like a wall decal and this is from Maria Montessori she said that play is the work of a child so I have that there just as a little ode to Maria Montessori. And then up above, um, on top of his table and his open shelving toy system, I have some artwork of his. And it's just two nails with some twine, string, and little mini clips. All that stuff I got from the Dollar Tree. And he loves stickers right now, so I have his sticker artwork. But 
as he you know makes more art I'll swap it out and just so he can see that we're proud of his work we display his work and he gets really excited to like look at it he'll point to it and gasp and all that that actually concludes the toy and play area this is just a little overview for you guys I love 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 being in this room I love playing in this room with him it's just such a nice space and then I'm just briefly gonna go through his closet up top I keep spare blocks I keep his musical instruments and in there there's just cloth diapers back there are stuffed animals that he doesn't really use but I'm gonna keep them because they have sentimental value the classic Montessori rainbow block set and then some spare books that's just like storage and stuff back there. These are random clothes that they don't really need to be hung up, but I guess I have them hung up anyways. To the right in this corner, I keep his jackets and outerwear and spare hangers. It's summer now here, so he's probably never going to be wearing this stuff. And then back there in his closet, I just keep spare larger toys that out of sight, out of mind, you know what I'm saying? In this corner, I keep his laundry basket and a diaper pail. I honestly never use the diaper pail if I'm being completely honest with you guys. It's it's just there, but I mostly just throw his diapers downstairs in the garbage. And then this right here is one of those toy organization bins. I'll insert a photo just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. But we removed the rods, or rather we never even put in all the rods, and we have kept all the bins separately. I actually use them in his toy closet and... This is our makeshift Montessori wardrobe. Montessori wardrobes can get pretty pricey, so we took something that was gifted to us and made it into a wardrobe, okay? We're talking functionality. So I have two outfit options for him, two shirts, two pants, and he's not super into picking out his clothes right now, but he will eventually be into it, and so when that time comes, he can come pick out a shirt and a pair of pants, and we can get them dressed in front of his mirror. So that's the that's the plan. He's not there yet, but we'll get there and when we get there, it's ready and it's set up. This dresser is from IKEA. I believe it's the Hemnes. It's a 3 drawer. It's the shorter one because I believe they also have a 6 drawer. And right on top, I'll just turn this light on quickly. Right on top, this is a little sensory activity that I had in cycle for him, but I keep it out of reach because of this stuff. It'll just end up everywhere. And it's just a little dinosaur rescue activity. I do have to switch this out because he's so bored with it. Then I just have like lotions, his little Elmo, a toothbrush, um, some artwork, some bugs. We were playing with bugs a couple days ago. And I don't use this to like change him or anything. It's literally just a dresser. He gets dressed standing up now. These drawer organizers are from Amazon. They're probably the most affordable ones that I can find. And so I just have his shirts, his socks, um, pajama sets, diapers, uh, wipes and creams and things like that. And training underwear, which we don't really use yet. But we're getting to that soon. I just don't feel like he's ready yet. And then in the second drawer, it's all pants. On this side, shorts and then extra shoes. He really doesn't wear these. He only wears his Crocs. He swears by them. He's wearing them right now, as a matter of fact. And then, listen, real life mom moment. This is my junk drawer. This is just where I keep stuff that I don't know what to do with. All of this stuff can probably go in the attic because it's either outgrown him or I don't use it bibs and changing pad covers this is just the catch-all drawer and could probably use this to store something else but i haven't gotten to needing that space yet but that's a project for another day and that is luca's entire room before i wrap up i want to show you really quickly how i store his toys i have a whole video on me organizing this toy closet and like labeling everything but just in case you don't feel like watching that and you're just interested in his setup overall, I'm going to show you guys inside of his toy closet. So I'm going to flip you guys around. And so this is his bedroom and this is his toy closet. So it's literally right outside. This used to be a linen closet, but I transformed it into his toy closet. And so these are the bins that I was telling you about belong to the toy organizer that I use as his makeshift wardrobe. And so it's not perfect, but everything is where it needs to be. It's pretty easy to keep up with because there's a bin for everything and everything has a bin. 
It mostly gets messy because he knows how to open doorknobs now, so he'll come in here and kind of like grab a few things. I try and keep him out of it, um, just so these toys remain like a marvel to him, and when they cycle in, he's more excited about them, but uh, he does manage to get in here and make it a little bit messy, but so far so good. Since I've posted the last video, we've been pretty good with keeping up with it, and I've loved, loved, loved rotating his toys with the closet set up like this it makes it super easy and i love it so yep toy closet and our bedroom which is his playroom as well as where he sleeps at night so that is it that is luca's montessori inspired bedroom and playroom tour i hope that i gave you some ideas if you were interested in implementing montessori into your life or even if you just don't have enough space in your house and you kind of have to make the bedroom into the playroom as well. Um, or if you're struggling with toy storage or whatever, I hope that you got some inspiration from this video. If you have any questions or even any recommendations as to like how I can optimize the space even more, I'm very open to that. Leave a comment down below. I would love to have a conversation with you. I'll do my best to get back to all of you. If you stuck around and watched the entire thing, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here. It means a lot to me. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below what you would like to see. Um, just because I want to create content that would be beneficial to you. So that is all. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll catch you on the next one.